Okay, I recorded this. We're in a looper right now. Here's the melody. She's a good girl, loves her mama, loves Jesus, and her boyfriend too. She's a good girl, she's crazy about Elvis, loves horses, and her boyfriend too. It's a long day living in the cedar. There's a freeway running through the yard. I'm a bad boy because I don't even miss her. I'm a bad boy for breaking her heart. Now I'm free. We are on Spreecast, we are live, and we're glad that you're here. Thank you very much for coming. This is Hal, Hal Stead from Quail Studios Tutorials, and we are going to post this a little bit later on YouTube. So this is what you're missing if you're on YouTube and um, you're not on Patreon. Only patrons get this. And I want to talk a little bit today about what is... Um, what we're going to be doing here in the near future. We have a video called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And Twinkle Twinkle Little Star has, let's see, let me pull this up, 145,000 views on it. And um, I've had some comments there and, and had some feedback about what we're doing with that particular video. Some people would like some more uh, simple melodies, and so we're going to be producing some of these. Some of you know that there's a Star Wars movie coming out this December, and so we decided um, let's do some Star Wars melodies. Um, the main theme uh, is always really good. Like, um, wait. Sorry? There we go. Right? That's the main theme of Star Wars. And um, let's see. Right? The Imperial March, I think it's called. And then there's one that we've been working on recently, and it's called, uh, well, I find it the Force theme. I found it uh, named Luke's theme. I'm not sure what the name of it is. Maybe you've heard that theme before. So we're going to be working on these themes and publishing these themes for you so that you can play them on the guitar. It's a very good technique to have to be able to play a melody. And in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star we did one string melodies. Let's see. I could actually do the same thing with the force theme instead of doing, let's see, what is that? Mm 
We could probably transpose it and put it in one string if we wanted to. Let me see if I can figure out. Right? We could do that. And so we could put it on one string for those of you who need it on one string to begin with, who want to do this um, very simply. And then later, uh, you can do songs with two strings and songs with three strings and four strings. So we're going to make a, a, um, a playlist on our YouTube channel, and it's going to be melodies, and um, I don't have it there yet, but we're going to do that very soon. So it's going to have melodies and... Uh, simple um, songs. We might make a playlist for one string melodies and two string melodies and uh, just one for melodies in general. Where you can play uh, the melody of a song and I do this when I'm performing. If I do um, So what I'm doing there is I'm I've got a looper and I played the right, I'm playing the background, the chords, the harmonies, and then I'm playing I'm playing the melody, right? It makes it really pretty. It's it's uh, it comes across very well. There are some videos that I did. Uh, Just give me a reason was one um, concerning hobbits from. Uh, the Hobbit movies, uh, not Hobbit movies, but uh, Lord of the Rings, especially the first one. So, what we want to do is uh, come up with more of these. We're going to do some Star Wars. And uh, on the Quail Studios page, let's see where that is. There we go. If you go to Lessons, no, nope, I'm sorry, Music and the Guitar Book. What you do is you go down, click on it. There's a drop-down box that happens, and you'll see a bunch of pieces. It's I haven't counted them lately. Over 20, 25 or 27 or something. And there are melodies and chords, and all of these are basically um, first position chords for the most part, and melodies where you can play uh, a lot of different fun things. I've got, let's see, Pirate's Life for Me, yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's life for me, right? Concerning Hobbits, Edelweiss, 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 Frosty the Snowman, um, Good King Wenceslas, Good King Wens, Good King Wens, Good King Wenceslas, look down on the Feast of Stephen, Greensleeve, that one there, but you can play it with just one melody. Harry Potter. Let's see. That one. Let's see. How to Train Your Dragon. I've got Test Drive on there. Um, Jingle Bell Rock. Ode to Joy. Pink Panther, you know. Let's see. No, that one. Um, let's see, Raiders March, Sailor's Hornpipe, Silent Night, Star Wars Main Theme, uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, let's see, What Do You Do With a Drunken Sailor? Um, when Johnny Comes Marching Home. Okay. So, and there's a, a bunch of others too. So, you can um, you can check those out. So, what does this have to do playing a melody with? Uh, I mean, what what is the advantage to that? Well, I want to let you know. Let's see if there's any comments. Nope, no comments. Um, so we'll just keep going. Uh, when you want to play a lead. 
right? You can't do that unless you're um, pretty savvy about how to play single notes. Right? Right? And there's a couple of different ways to approach playing the guitar. One of the things that um, would be really good is if you if you learn how to play chords now you don't have to start out playing chords but some people like to do that they like to sing along you know with their their playing so that's a good way that's what I used to do you know as I walked out in the streets of Laredo as I walked out in Laredo one day right so I just sang and played at the same time um, then you can approach playing melodies right and that's the same melody that I just sang and you could have somebody play the chords as I walked out in the streets of Laredo right I'll play the melody So you can do guitar duets like that. Um, I had a student once, let me tell you this little story. I had a student once, um, I think he lived in American Fork or uh, someplace like that. Um, once when we lived up north in Utah. And uh, he told me that he did not want to play melodies. He started with me when he was about nine. And he really couldn't play chords. So I didn't really push that on him and I taught him how to play you know, different melodies. First of all, it was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And we went from there. And um, he was very passionate about learning how to play. And he told me one time, he said, I want to learn a bunch of songs. And so uh, this was in the days of uh, cassette tapes. So he would record from the radio the songs he wanted to play. And he had an hour, a 60 minute cassette full of songs and said, I want to learn all of these songs. And uh, he did that with several tapes. Well, what was interesting is that um, every once in a while I would say, so would you like to learn chords? And he'd be like, no, no, I don't want to learn chords. I just want to learn uh, melodies. And I said, okay, that's fine. Let me put this up a little bit closer so you can hear me a little better. And um, so we went that direction for quite a while. And um, he didn't want to do chords for, it was really literally years, probably four years. And then one day, he said to me, I want to do chords. And I said, okay. And, you know, I didn't push him to do chords because he was progressing. He was doing really well. He could play really well. But um, he really hadn't gotten into chords yet. But he made up his mind one day that he wanted to do chords. So I showed him the chord sheet, the basic chord sheet that you can find on um, the videos that talk about open position chords. And in one week, he had all of those down. He was amazing. And then we worked on um, other open position chords, and then we started to work on bar chords. And he was amazing. He really was. He was very, very fast at getting those things all together. So that taught me that you don't have to do it just one way, that you can approach learning the guitar through chords, through melodies, or, you know, uh, both at the same time. So I hope that you have a good experience um, learning the guitar. I'm here to help you. Eventually, of course, you won't need me anymore, but for right now, go to quailstudios.com, quail-studios.com. I'll put the link right here on the screen for those of you who are watching this delayed. And um, let's see. Oh, you can go to Patreon, and uh, this recast, this live chat is uh, done with uh, Spreecast right now. There's probably other ones that we could use, but for this moment, we only have Spreecast. Um, is there anything else? I'm trying to think if there is. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for um, participating. So, I guess we'll go out and play something for you. Let's see here.
a good girl Loves her mama Loves Jesus And America too She's a good girl She's crazy about Elvis Loves horses And her boyfriend too It's a long There's a freeway running through the yard And I'm a bad boy Cause I don't even miss her I'm a bad boy For breaking her heart Now I'm free Thanks for coming by and we'll talk to you later, okay?